Shalom and welcome to PowerPoints. We're talking about hope. I love this subject. It's something in my own life that uh, I I love the spirit of hope. I love when my soul is experiencing hopeful thoughts. Uh, Some people would say, you know, I'm in need. I, I just need some good news. Good news always brings hope. And so I hope that these PowerPoints, I don't know how many I'm going to do on hope, but we're going to do it until the Holy Spirit says stop. But I really feel like in this season, we need to really allow the Lord to fan the flames of our hope. In Jeremiah 29, 11, uh, probably the most famous scripture of hope in the whole Bible. And the reason I say that is you see it on books and stickers. And basically this scripture has been stuck on anything from refrigerator magnets to uh, bumper stickers. But it's a powerful time because it was the prophet Jeremiah speaking to Israel and all the other prophets were saying, oh, no, we're staying here in Israel. Everything's going to be fine. And Jeremiah had the great job. I love this. Nope. Sorry, guys. It's not going to be a bad time, but we're going in captivity for 70 years and we're moving to Babylon. And uh, it's like, well, great. And everyone loves that prophet. And then it's the famous scripture where it says, in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans for you, declares the Lord, lo, the Lord, plans for welfare, or one translation is plans for your good, not evil, and to give you a future and a hope. And it goes on in that verse, and it says, I want you to buy houses, I want you to plant gardens, I want you to marry and multiply. All this time during captivity, he wants them to still be the Jewish people they are, but for the next 70 years... Um, you know what, you're, you're going to go into captivity because your circumstances and the sin of the nation has brought them into captivity. So one of the things I want to pray with you right now is that regardless of what the United States of America or whatever country you're in, uh, I've got friends that watch PowerPoints in Togo, Africa, in Lome. It's very hard in Lome to say, well, our government, I mean, you're run by a king and uh, he's a dictator and he does whatever the heck he wants. Uh, it's hard to say, well, I can prosper in Togo and Lome. Yes, you can, because God's ways prosper wherever. It's not subject to any government. It's not subject to your job or your manager. It's subject to your heart. But you need to know as a believer, when Jesus Christ died on the cross for us, that's our future and that's our hope. And what he does is he allows circum circumstances into our life to build our character. We grow more stable in the things that we suffer. It's not rejection, it's correction. And correction is love from God so that we don't get into big trouble with big problems. So Father God, I ask that you release your hope that we have that future and hope from a God who is love. And he is. So I'll see you tomorrow.